Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Finally, we're given the ability to do load balancing within the Unified Dream Machine SE and the UDR. The Unified Dream Machine Pro will be coming soon. Ubiquity earlier this morning released Unify OS Dream Machine SE 2.5.11 and same for the UDR. And this gives us the load balancing feature as well as a bunch of other things. But in this video, we're specifically just focusing on the load balancing. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to watch live game streams, you'd find me on Twitch and the link will be in the description below. Before I show you the load balancing feature, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your UDM SE if it's not available to you. If we click on the release notes, you would see that this is a rolling release. Everyone will receive it in the coming days. So if you don't see that there's an update available, we could SSH into our console and then we can manually upgrade it. If we look down below in the comments of the release section, I've posted the command that we need to use to upgrade our Unify console. I can't put this into the YouTube description as it doesn't allow our links. I'll put a link to the release notes so you could just copy and paste this in your Unify console. So the first thing we need to do, we need to go to our UDM SE, and then we need to go to our console settings. I'm already at the latest 2.5.11, but we'll go to the console settings. We'll have to scroll down and then enable SSH. When you enable SSH, you'll have to put a password in. Once the password has been created, we need to SSH into our Unify console. So SSH and the username is root at whatever IP address is of your Unify console. Mine's 192.168.10.1 and we'll press enter. Now it's gonna ask us for the password that we set. Okay, we can see that I'm in my UDM SE console. I'm gonna go back to the release notes and I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Once I copy and paste that in, all I need to do is press enter and that will upgrade your UDM SE. Now that the UDM SE is updated, this is my setup. I have my UDM SE, then I have my ISP one going into port nine. My ISP2 is going into port 10. Before this update, the only thing that we could do is fail over. So if the ISP1 went down, it would fail over to ISP2. But now we could set low balancing and we could balance it however we want. We could do it 50-50, we could do it 90-10. For this video, we will do 50-50. So we'll go to my UDM SE and to find the load balancing section, we need to go to our settings wheel. From the settings, we'll click on internet and then under the internet page, it's gonna show us our default WAN and then it will show us our backup WAN. And then if we scroll down, it will show us our internet sources. So if we wanted WAN 2 to be on port 8, we could actually put that on port 8 now. So we could see our default WAN, WAN 1 is on port 9 and that's my 2.5 gigabit ethernet interface. And then my WAN 2 is on SFP plus port 10. And this is where the big change happens. Before we only had this failover only, but now we have it distributed. So if we click on that, we could say what we want to happen. So this could be a 50-50 balance, or we could bring it all the way down to 10-1 or 1387, whichever you like and however you want it to be balanced. So I'm gonna just bring it back up to 50-50 and then we're gonna apply the changes. Now there's not a whole lot of internet activity happening at my house right now as I'm the only one here, but let's see if the load balancing is working. Let's bring up a command prompt. And from here, I'm just gonna do a trace. So I'll trace to Google. And we should see which internet source we go through. All right, and for this source, it's going through my Bell network. I have Bell and I have Rogers. Now let's do another trace towards facebook.com. And that trace actually went through my Rogers. So the load balancing is working. Also, if you look under these WAN settings on the front homepage, you'll see that you have some activity going up and down. Right now, there really isn't anything happening, but we could look at my WAN one and we could see some activity down and some activity up. If we look under our WAN two, we should be able to see that meter going up and down and we do. And we could also click on internet quality and we could click on the insights and you could see what the download and the upload is. So that should go up over time. So that's for my WAN 2. Let's take a look at the WAN 1. The insights for my WAN 1 is a lot more because that is my primary internet and I just plugged in my backup internet to do this video. So I'm going to have to do some more testing with this low balancing and trying it other than 50-50, but it does seem that it's working. This was a long requested feature that people have been asking for Ubiquity and it was in the UDM Pro OS a long time ago when it first came out. I'm really happy that they have implemented this. And now with the release of OS version 2.5.11, OpenVPN is now available and a few other things, which we'll do separate videos on. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.